Good morning, explorers. Good morning. We are in downtown historic St. Augustine today. I love this place. Yes. <laughs> this continues uh, part of our stay here at uh, Anastasia State Park. Yep. Um, we're not quite sure what we're going to do today, but we do, we're planning on going over to check out the fort and maybe the city gates to, uh, spirit place, yes. distillery. Yeah. And then we're just going to walk around and see what else we can find. Yeah. Yeah. You might remember we were here last year. Um, don't judge us too harshly. That yeah. was some of our earlier work. If you haven't seen those videos, we'll put the link below. I'm hoping we get some stuff because they're predicting 70% chance of rain today and nothing is covered here. So we'll see what we can get. Yep. All right. <laughs> Let's go on. St. Augustine city gates. Um, around this area would have been the wall, but now it's just the gate. Fun fact about this gate is apparently that there's a haunted uh, like ghost girl that stalks around the gate at night. Our first stop is... The Castillo San Marco. Yep, it's a fort. Um, it's part of this whole national parks thing. And uh, we had this book here, so we're gonna go get a stamp here. And this will be our first stop on, on our, our visit to St. Augustine. Tour of St. Augustine. Yeah. Okay, so we got our tickets. Um, it's about $15 per person. They do have discounts for people who are disabled and military and all that stuff. So look on the website. Um, they said this fort is how old now? 450 years. Yeah. It's been defending the area. Yep, and it's seen all types of people, Native American, Spanish, um, English, American, women, all kinds of people. So. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is structured out of Coquina. So you can see. <laughs> shell marks in certain various parts of the wall because it is a little more pliable than just straight up concrete. So this room that we're going into is the barracks where all the, the soldiers and everybody would sleep basically. Oh, okay. Yep. It looks like it'd be like, hunt, like what? 15, 20 people in this room. They're also pretty short, and I think that's because a lot of people were shorter back then. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we came in. The old four gates are the original four gates. One of the originals. They look like they uh, have taken some damage there. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, so it's kind of neat that they got it preserved like that. But. This is the chapel. They used to have pews to sit down all over the place in here. But, and I think a little uh, infomercial or documentary that was uh, playing during the time. But yeah. Must have gotten rid of it. So this isn't, people didn't carve this in there, like, this was carved in 1883, 1884. It is not a light gun. Yes. Uh, this is not a, a daily <laughs> hunter. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Flicks that thing over your shoulder. Might be a little bit darker in here. This is the legend of the lover's room. You have to climb through a little cubby hole. It's a tight squeeze. It's a real tight squeeze. <laughs> but from what we've heard over the years, there were two lovers. Um, the wife was one of the... Commanders? Sh commander or? or something like that. We're not quite sure, but he was uh, of power. And she was cheating on him with someone else. One of the soldiers. Yeah, he found out and he... Locked them locked both them, down. Chained them to the wall and left them here to die. And they found them years later, blocked up in this room. So, yeah. kind of creepy. They actually do a, I think it's one o'clock. The last time I, I checked, it was one o'clock, maybe we've changed it, but um, they actually fire off a cannon and they demonstrate 
how it would sound um, during that time. It's really neat, but unfortunately it's 12 o'clock right now, so we gotta get going. Castillo de San Marcos. Yep. And we are on our way to stop number two, which is City Gate Spirits. We're at the City Gates Distillery. We're gonna go inside and try some stuff. Just this. We have more nine. I think we're gonna bite the bullet and they have a deal where you have um, five bottles and get the six free. It, it's gonna be pricey, but uh, you know. It's worth it. It's worth it. I mean, we don't have to drink it all in one sitting, right? Right, so. <laughs> but it could be fun. <laughs> we did the damage that we said we would. They don't have an online presence yet, but they said to keep an eye out because it should be coming soon. Yeah, they do have a website though. There's a lot of, yeah, you there's a- You just can't order it. You just can't order, so you can prepare when you come here. Yeah. But I would recommend taking the tour because that, that just kinda, they gave you all the best tasting stuff. And of course, if you spend enough, you get a free tote bag. Oh yeah, so, that's gonna come in handy on our travels, right, huh? Right, exactly, especially well, when we're bringing booze. And, and we can show people that we're, we like to drink. Alcoholics? No, not alcoholics. <laughs> but we like to drink. No, that we do like to drink. We're a fun couple. <laughs> so anyway, I think now we're gonna head over to Pepper Palace because we have to stock up. We come here once a year just to grab some hot sauce because exactly. they have really good they hot sauce. They do have really good ones. Grab a spoon, she said. 
Oh, a little, little, not too much. Just a drop, yeah. A little, a little spicy. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe get one bottle of that. I like that one. Yeah. It's a little spicier though, I think. All right, this is the horseradish, so it's milder. It's like real horseradish, so it's gonna clear you out. It tastes like horseradish, yeah. yeah Woo. So I think maybe get a bottle of the lime, or like that one. Did you like this one too, or? Uh, a little too spicy for me. Do you want it anymore? No, I think that's good. Okay. I'm not going half the display. <laughs> My backpack. So we stopped at the Pepper Palace. They didn't have our Castillo then sell Marco. Um, if I'm saying that right, I'm, I'm a few drinks in, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did buy one that tasted a lot like it. It was it had actually like a hint of lime in it. Yeah, that one actually, I think it tasted good. Yeah, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go drop this off at the truck because this is a lot to carry. Yeah, And uh, it's nice that the parking garage is right here so you don't have to walk too far. Right, and yeah. we'll continue on our tour. Yep. All right, so we dropped everything off at the car. Now we're gonna head down and get some lunch at the Cuban Bakery, which is still my favorite place. Now that our bellies are full, yep. we have stopped at the St. Fodios Greek Orthodox Shrine. Uh, we actually never knew this was here, and then we just saw it one day on, on YouTube, and we're like, oh, we have to come check it out. It is free, and um, it actually is here to commemorate the Greek people who have been in this area since 1768. This door looks like something out of Castlevania. Alright explorers, uh, I think we're going to go back to the campsite and put up our feet for a few minutes. We're kind of tired. Yeah, we did explore a lot today. <laughs> yeah, so. but we are going to come back, uh, probably find something to eat in this great little town. Yeah, and we'll show you a little bit of that. Yeah, so fast forward. Okay, so, we're so back. we made it. Um, we're actually at the St. Augustine's Fish House and Oyster Company. Um, so we're feeding um, another channel here and their name is Off Our Couch. Uh, we watch them all the time. Yeah. This was something that they recommended and we're going to meet them here. Yep. So we're probably not going to be doing much work tonight. Yeah. Um, we'll probably put the camera down so that we can get to know them and, and maybe talk a little. And we'll, we're going to put a link to their channel because they have the most awesome food videos that they go and check out all kinds of places to eat. Mm -hmm. And there's just so many yummy places they find yeah. wherever they go. <laughs> yep. And if you so. do happen to go over there and subscribe, maybe leave a comment saying that Florida and Beyond sent you. Yep. We have the most delicious stuffed grouper ever. Yeah, so thank you again to Off Our Couch for recommending it. Yeah, and we had such a great time talking with them and just getting to know more about them and their channel and stuff like that, so. Yep. Um, but uh, it's starting to pour right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We're heading back to our campground and it's raining. <laughs> yep, so I guess we'll be crawling into that tent and uh, right. hiding out until it stops. Again. I know, right? Thank you guys for coming along today and visiting this area with us. Um, this has been a really cool day. Yep. Keep exploring. Yep, and we'll see you on the next one.